Hello guys and welcome back to my channel and today we will be creating this viral building stack up effect inside After Effects. So let's get started with the tutorial. So I'm inside After Effects and this is the clip that I will be using. I downloaded it from Pixels and then the first step that I will do is duplicate my clip and then I will head over to the pen tool section and I will start masking out the portion of the clip which I want it to be remain. So let's mask it out. Okay. Now let's solo out this layer. And then I will go to effects and presets. And I will add a threshold effect. This effect is not compulsory to do it. I, if you are fine with this, just the masking and feathering it out. That's fine. I will tweak the threshold settings. Okay. So now I will duplicate my main clip again and let's rename it to matte and then the middle clip which I have main clip to I will change the crack matte to matte layer and for that I will turn off my threshold layer let's mask out the feather you should do it before I just forgot so I'm doing it later now in my project panel I already have a clean plate I did this using Adobe Firefly so I will just drag and drop it below the layer and above the main clip now for now I will just turn it off and then turn it on to see the difference now I will duplicate my main clip again the bottom main clip and then just drag it over at the top and I will rename it to building blocks because this is the layer which we will be masking out in masking out our subject that is the building which we have in the middle so let's select our pen tool and start masking out it's a bit lengthy process because it depends on how many blocks you want for your clip i will just fast forward this step to save the time okay so now my first building block mask is done now I will duplicate it again and then I will delete the first mask that I did and because I need to create a new mask so let's start masking out my subject again and then I will repeat this process I will duplicate it again and delete my mask layer and for this to get the more accurate masking I will decrease the opacity a bit and also while you mask out the subject make sure that uh, there is no gap left when the building comes in as you can see that I am keeping my mask path below my building block too so that it overlaps it when it falls down and there is no gap left so I already did to save time let me show you how many blocks I have so these are the blocks that I have done masking out. The next step that we will be doing is pre-comping all our building blocks. And make sure to pre-comp it individually because we want control for each block. And once you are done with the pre-comp, I will select all my pre-comp layer and just drag it below the main city clip too. Now I will open up the pre-comp layer and then since it's a 2D image and I want to make it 3D while it's falling so I need to create a shape so with the help of a pen tool I will create a rough shape it will give a good depth while when it's falling make sure the shape layer should be below the building block and then we need to do this for all the all our pre-comp layer that we just created I'm just fast forwarding this method
also I won't be doing creating the shape layer for building block 8 because I have something different for the animation part and also now I will rearrange all my building blocks now the final part that we will be doing is animating our position so let's hit the keyframe of our position properties and then move few frames forward and create the keyframe again so this is the position that I want my building to come so I will head back to my first keyframe that I created and then animate the position and make sure to enable the motion blur okay now let's select all both the keyframes and hit F9 for easy ease and then under the edit speed graph section I will smooth out the animation so now you can see the animation is very smooth now so now let's move on to our next block so for this I will open up the position property and hit a keyframe I want this block to come from the top and then I will move on to our next building block 4 and create a keyframe and this also I want it to come from the top so I'll animate it like that and then I will select both the keyframes and hit F9 to easy use them and under the speed craft section I will smooth out the animation let's preview it okay it looks good now let's head to our next block so for this I will again create a keyframe for the position now let's head back to our first keyframe and also I will be creating a keyframe for opacity see it depends on all the variations you want and then I will hit F9 and smooth out the animation in under the speed graph section now let's move to our another block okay so let's create a keyframe here let's move few frames forward and then I create another keyframe and then I will move back to my first keyframe and then start animating it and for this I will animate the rotation properties too so click on the keyframe button and let's animate our rotation property okay and select all the keyframes and hit F9 and then easy ease them out let's preview it okay so I think it's good and we can move on with our next animation which is building block 7 and for this again I'll animate this property and for this I want my block to come from the sideways so I'll just animate it like that okay for the last building block which I haven't which I didn't created the shape layer I will animate the position of it I want to commit from the bottom and I will trim down this building block okay I think that I might need to create the shape layer for this also I think we are done with our animation part so now this is the bonus tip that which you can add on so I will just hit ctrl D and then I will pre-comp it let's solo it out I will go to the effects and preset panel and then I will search for find edges and drag and drop it click invert now let's search for levels and we will play with our input black settings and input white so now the next effect that we'll be adding is extract to remove the black background for that I will also create a new solid layer and uh, let's choose our color red okay it looks good now let's lead our solid layer now select the layer and then we will go to our layer option and click auto trace I will add the saber effect and then I will change the customized core to layer mask and I will change the glow intensity to around 5 and core size to 1 and for now I will pre-comb my auto trace layer 
and then I will create a rectangle mask because I will animate it and change its printing mode to add and then in the bottom layer I will turn off all my effects that I added and also I will feather out my mask and let's animate our mask path so create a keyframe move few frames forward and let's animate it building stack up effect is ready I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial make sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video have a nice day and thank you so much